Dragon Beauty unboxing of ASMR. I don't even know where my mic is on this. I so you saw the title. You know why you're here. I know why you're here. And quite frankly, I'm so happy you decided to stop on by. If you guys didn't already know, Nikita Dragon will be hosting her very first Dragon Beauty pop-up shop in the Beverly Center here in California from October the 5th all the way to October 13th. The face palette doesn't actually launch until the 7th, but if you come to opening day, a little birdie told me you may or may not be able to get it early. So if you want to stop on by, please come and hang out with us. There'll be other social media influencers there. I will be there. So if you guys want to come down and join the festivities, please do. It's going to be a really fun time. And knowing Nikita, she always has something up her sleeve, so you really don't want to miss out on this. And to know exactly where it is, when you do get to the Beverly Center, it's going to be on the top floor next to Louis Vuitton and Victoria's Secret. I know. All right, enough chit chat. Let's get into this video. So I'm going to start off with foundation and concealer like I usually do. And then we're going to come back and get into the contour, blush, and highlight portion of this. A little longer than a few minutes later. So we're back, did my full face. Now, we're gonna be going into the good stuff, the juicy stuff. The stuff that you're here for. Okay, so here is my lovely base. Let me wait, let me do a quick spritz before we keep going. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Ooh. Now I'm good to go. Wait, oh my god, no I'm not. Oh wow, oh no, I forgot to set my under eyes. Oh my god, I, I got set setting spray in my eye. Oh no, I forgot to set my under eyes. Whatever will I do? Oh, I have something for you, the Dragon Beauty set. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. Y'all get the point, I'm gonna, ooh, ooh, she's looking kind of rough, never mind. I, she's been loved, okay? I'm just gonna go into these setting powders real quick, okay? I can't get enough of this powder. Look at this side and look at this side. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I definitely can. And ugh, God, I love this stuff. This looks so good. Okay, same to the other side. So now we are set. This is our base to start. And now we whip out the big guns. So usually the next thing that I do in my makeup routine is contour. So we're gonna go into, oh, let's just done. She is exposed. Now we're gonna go into Surge and we're going to use this as our contour. So let's do it, shall we? Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. I kind of can't with the, wait. Never mind. yes I can. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. It kind of gives me the appearance of like, like the shadow of my cheekbones if that makes sense it does give me that illusion without it being or like looking chalky i guess the cool thing about this product that i noticed so far is that it is really buildable when i first started putting it on i kind of didn't see anything come through for me but then i built it on a little bit more and it definitely is very buildable. It would even make for a really cool neutral um, eyeshadow, even if you're like darker complexion. I really like it. Yeah. If I'm gonna be honest, I was kind of scared when I first saw Surge. I thought, dang it, that might not work for me, but it does. It's very buildable, so that's one thing to keep in mind when you go out and buy this. So that is our contour. Now I'm going to go over that. Now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty uh, bronzer, and I think this is, oh, Coco Naughty. Um, also, don't be scared. I'm not naked. I should have said something earlier. I am not naked. <laughs> Perverts. Just warms up the face a little bit. 
Okay, so the next thing I usually get into is my blush. So now I'm gonna go into the palette and go and try out the BB Girl blush. If you haven't seen my initial unboxing, it's on my Instagram. My Instagram at is at Deja Simone Curry. It's gonna be on the bottom of the screen. So there's that. In my IG story, I said that I like a more warm toned blush and I definitely get that vibe from BB Girl. I think it's gonna look really, really pretty. So let's get into it. We're dipping into BB Girl. And now we're gonna put on. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It is so natural. Oh, I like that a lot. That's really pretty. Ooh, uh, that's really pretty. It does have a very pretty matte finish. I don't know if you guys can see it. You see it better in person, but oh, this is really, 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 really cute. Oh, I like it! I'm gonna put some more. I, I just don't want to go too crazy, though, but it's... Oh. I used to be so scared of blush when I first started doing makeup, but now I can't get enough of it. And now, the moment of truth, we're gonna go into the highlighter. So for tonight, I was gonna play it safe and go with like a color that I would typically wear, but I'm gonna go in with Fantasy because I think it's really pretty. The way I saw it on Nikita's story, um, the finish is really, really nice, so I want to give this a go. So we're gonna take the fan brush, this is from e.l.f., and we're just going to get that on the brush. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm scared, but also excited. Okay, let's do this. Okay. You see my face? We're gonna get close, okay? Let's do this. Hold on. Do you guys see that? Ah, oh, God, it's not showing up the way I want it to on camera. But now I found the one thing that I hate about this palette. You know what I don't like about it? The fact that this isn't bigger. Okay, I'm gonna put some on my finger and put it on the center of my Dude, I am giving you Space Princess Guardians of the Galaxy, Gamora, all glam. Ooh, I'm so mad it's not coming up the way I wanted to on camera, but it is so pretty in person. What? This is like the perfect highlight for the concert I'm going to tonight. Oh, speaking of, oh my God, I'm just taking my sweet time. Okay, it's 7.30, okay, I'm making good time. Okay, 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 let's just continue, okay. I'm so mad it's not coming up the way I wanted to, okay. I'm gonna go off camera and just finish my makeup and I'll give you a final look as to how everything is put together and then I'll do a check-in when I come back from the concert, so give me one second. Okay guys, this is my completed makeup look. As you can see, I have the entire face palette on my face and now your girl is running 20 minutes late for a concert, so I'm gonna get going, but like I said, this is how my face looks right now. The product is on, it's sitting really well. The good thing about the face palette is that you know with a lot of products you can tell if something's on your face. What I'm noticing right now is that it doesn't feel like I have too much on. It's not weighing me down in any way and it looks so... I'm I'm so mad that you can't see it the way I'm seeing it. It just it looks so beautiful and I'm really excited to hopefully get compliments. <laughs> and if I don't, that's fine. Someone better compliment my face. So I will see you guys in a few hours. Many unbearable hours later. Hello, I'm back to check in. The time is now 12.14 a.m. I just got back from the concert. I'm so tired, like my lashes are drooping, my eyes are getting kind of dry, but like, my makeup still looks so good. There's so much room to expand more, who knows, maybe Dragon Beauty will come out with an eyeshadow palette or maybe like a lash line. I'm gonna pitch that idea again, Nikita, if you're watching this, eyelashes, okay. So you're probably wondering, Deja, you're home now. Shut up and get to the point. What do you rate this palette on a scale of one to 10? This bad boy right here gets a nine out of 10. And you know why it only gets a nine out of 10? Because this isn't bigger. This is not bigger. This is not enough for me. I'm literally going to inhale this. I'm just gonna do a quick line of this literally every morning. It's so pretty. It is so, it's like when it when it shifts in the light, it 
goes from like a pink to like a purple and it's very very pretty it looks really really good on my skin i'm really obsessed with this i can't wait to experiment more with this um but yeah oh my god look at my foundation jesus y'all can't say shit to me okay i'm just mad that this won't show up the way i want it to for you guys but i promise you if you like fun funky colors then fantasy the highlighter fantasy is definitely for you but yeah that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this little review i tried my best i'm so exhausted if you did please make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up that helps me out so much also don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every single week also click that bell so you don't miss out whenever i post and if you want to follow me on all my social media they'll be linked right down below and they'll be on the screen so you really have no excuse to not follow me and don't forget, Nikita is having her pop-up shop at the Beverly Center here in Los Angeles, California from October the 5th to the 13th. So please come on by. I will be there for opening day so you guys can come up, say hi to all of us. There'll be tons and tons of social media influencers there, I'm sure. So please come on by and have fun with us. This is going to be such an incredible day, an incredible moment in the beauty world. And I'm just very, very honored and blessed and just so happy to be a part of all of this. So we would love for you guys to join us. So come on bike. And until I see you guys again next time, I will catch you on the flip side. Peace out. Good night. Stay in drugs. Don't do school. And all that jazz. Bye kitty girls.